Hey everyone, I'm Jonathan from Can-Am and I'm here to talk about your suspension or as you might know it, your shocks. Adjusting your shocks is a key part of owning a Can-Am. When they're calibrated properly, your shocks will make sure your ride reacts as expected and that your handling will be just right. There's no such thing as a perfect setting. You might adjust your suspension when certain conditions change, like riding speed, field conditions, and the weight of the rider, passenger, and the cargo on board. The most important thing remains to have all your suspensions calibrated the same. So measure your preload and turn the dials to the same settings. Today, we'll be giving a quick breakdown of how to adjust your shocks using the Outlander Max XT1000R. We can adjust the suspension in two ways. The first one is damping. The process is as simple as turning this dial here. Position one gives you the least amount of damping, which allows your suspension to move with almost no restriction. So with this setting, suspension will react quickly to every single bump. Then we have position two. This is the factory setting, which provides medium damping and is a good pick for most conditions. Last but not least, we have position three, which makes the suspension react more slowly. Then we have preload, which plays with the length of the spring. A longer spring will really act with less force applied to it, giving a softer ride, which is great on bumpier terrain. Then, if we increase preload, that shortens the spring and gives you a firmer ride. This setting is best on flatter surfaces at higher speeds while cornering, braking, and accelerating. It helps reduce excessive vehicle movement and also very helpful when you're carrying a passenger or extra cargo. So thank you for tuning in. We hope you have a safe, smooth, and comfortable ride on your freshly adjusted shocks. And we'll see you next time.